All right, guys. Well, it's time once again to react to another Nostalgia Critic video. And this time, I'm going to be reacting to his review of the Dudley Do-Right film. Yes, Dudley Do-Right. Oh, boy, because I tell you. Um, actually, because... Um, I got to watch uh, Dudley Do-Right, and obviously I knew I had to watch this film before, uh, you know, reacting to his review of the film. And yeah, I finally got to watch it, and uh, I got to watch it on the free uh, streaming uh, channel, Tubi. Yeah. And I'll be completely honest, as I am, uh, Dudley Do-Right, the movie... I thought it was okay. I didn't, I, 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 I wasn't watching it thinking like, oh my gosh, you know, no, none of that. I understand that this film is not the best. And yeah, I mean, it definitely shows. I mean, even, you know, Brendan Fraser, um, I, I read that he was disappointed, you know, in the results of the film and, you know, the character of Dudley do you know, himself, like, you know, how Dudley was portrayed and, you know, how, you know, how Brendan felt that Dudley would not do this or that, stuff like that. And yeah, you know, he definitely had a point. Um, and yeah, because like, you know, it had such a big cast in this, like a lot of familiar faces. Brendan Fraser as Dudley Do-Right, uh, Alfred Molina as Sidney, uh, 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 sorry, Snidley Whiplash, Sidney, <laughs> And uh, Sarah Jessica Parker as Dudley's love interest, Nell uh, Fenwick. Yeah. And Eric Idle, he was in this. And Corey Burton, he was the announcer slash the narrator for this film. And gosh, Corey Burton, like a great voice actor like him in this. You know, I mean, I think he was pretty good, like doing an imitation of the announcer, you know, in the Dudley Do Right cartoons. And that's another thing because. Dudley Do-Right, uh, being a movie adaptation, um, of the Jay Ward cartoon itself, you know, by the same name, Dudley Do-Right, um, Jay Ward, um, if any of you are or are not familiar with, uh, the late Jay Ward, he was a pretty well, well-known cartoonist, you know, he created a lot of familiar cartoons in the 60s, yeah, from this, Dudley Do-Right, uh, George of the Jungle, and his best well-known cartoon, Rocky and Bullwinkle. That's right. So, yeah, and not to mention, um, you know, there have been a couple of movie adaptations of Jay Ward's cartoons uh, from this, uh, George of the Jungle. George of the Jungle, as we all know, that was the first movie ad adaptation of a Jay Ward cartoon, and then came this, this being the second, Dudley Do-Right, and literally, a year after Dudley Do-Right came out, we got the Rocky and Bullwinkle movie, as we all know. <laughs> um, and then a couple years later, we got George of the Jungle 2. Yeah, and George of the Jungle 2, I'm not gonna lie, it, yeah, it wasn't that good. I mean, I, under, I, under, I understood where, you know, the plot slash the story was going, but to me, there were a couple of things that just, did not make sense, and it could have been a heck of a lot better. I'm just saying, aside from, like, the the changes to the cast, you know, I mean, you know, it's a shame that Brendan Fraser didn't come back to play George. He was open to do it, but around that time, he had already signed up for Looney Tunes back in action, so that's, that's understandable. Uh, but, you know, like, no Leslie Maine or What's-Her-Face who played Ursula's mother. Not even her. I mean, we got, uh... Thomas Hayden Church back, and a couple others from the first film, but geez louise, you know. But overall, because, you know, the the movie adaptations of Jay Ward's cartoons, I don't think they're that bad, y you know, obviously from George of the Jungle. The first George of the Jungle film, you know, a lot of people, you know, consider that to be the the most decent film from Jay Ward's cartoons, but as for, say, this and Rocky and Bullwinkle and George of the Jungle 2, yeah, not so much. It's a shame. But anyways, all right. But enough said. Um, 
let's go ahead and get to uh, the video itself, and I also have a snack with me. All right, so without further ado, we shall begin. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. The volume. Okay, let's try that again. In three, two, one, begin. This episode brought to you by Shine, the award-winning app and debit card that can save you money today. Also brought to you by Bespoke Post. Get your box of awesome today. Okay. Music never gets old. On with the show. Hello, I'm in a stout. Yeah, I remember it so you don't have to. The Renaissance reaching an emotional triumph, resulting in Brendan Fraser winning Best Actor. I think it only makes sense to look at his most challenging, complex, and even daring performance worthy of an Oscar winner. <laughs> I'm, of course, referring to Punchline. Punchline. <laughs> 1999, Dudley Do-Right was trying to ride off the success of the surprise hit, George of the Jungle. They even mentioned George of the Jungle three times in the trailer. The, the creator oh. of George of the Jungle, and the star of George of the Jungle, and the acclaimed director who saw George of the Jungle. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's pretty funny. Yeah, it's Catching funny. In on another J. Ward animated series, Dudley Do-Right didn't exactly... Trailers can be funny. like George did. It bombed pretty hard, and the few people that did see it usually wish they didn't. I've never seen the cartoon satirizing old silent melodramas and liking it okay, but I get the feeling it worked better as a series of shorts rather than an hour and a half narrative. I've got requests to look this over for some time now and seeing how Fraser Street Fred could easily buy and sell me to myself, though hmm. I don't think I'm worth the money. I don't think he'd mind the revisit. So let's take a closer look. Let's see how Do Right does wrong. Yeah. This is hmm. Dudley Do Right. Okay. Ha! Ah, you're so like George of the Jungle. How come Disney didn't buy you yet? Eh, yeah, screw <laughs> I'm still gonna rank this in the shitty live action remake tier list. <laughs> so the film actually opens with a crash or fairy tale short, which feels appropriate. Yeah. But the without it, the film is only an hour 15 long, which makes me think they added this just to reach the bare minimum running time for a movie. And as you probably noticed in the past, that usually means quality. <laughs> he ate Joe Hank's dog, my God. There was no one so clever at driving a bargain. Well, that joke would have worked better if Fox actually made it. <laughs> Whoever opens that box is gonna die. How'd you know that? Well, I was like uh, listening to the first part of the story, you know? It has the same feel as the Jay Ward cartoon, and honestly, might give the impression the film is gonna be okay. It has a similar style, similar yeah. humor, even some of the same voice actors. My favorite is the Fox tricking a guy who's so stupid he only came in second for Village Idiot. So he couldn't even do that right. <laughs> The legend said that whoever opened the box would die, but it didn't say when. Oh, I'm assuming right after this short is over. <laughs> On that note, the movie does begin right after with honestly a pretty funny idea. We see the main characters as children wearing similar clothes and having the same one no personalities as their future melodrama parodies. I'm in I've seen that a couple of times in other this. movies. And this. <laughs> That's right, all the world will soon know the names Nightly Weinstein Whiplash. <laughs> I kind of love the faces of indifference Nell gives being kissed by either the villain or the hero. I'm Dudley. I'm just thinking I have better chemistry with the horse. <laughs> Dudley, of course, says he wants to be a royal Canadian yaksman. I mean, Mountie, sorry, wrong cartoon. And as the credits roll, he grows up into Brendan Fraser. He tries to stop bad guys from doing bad guy things like Snidely Whiplash, played now by Alfred Molina. Talking? <laughs> Could you wait till everyone's in, please? Joke. I wonder what point things start going downhill. Ah, oh, what a nicely written welcome, Matt. <sighs> Snidely hides the gold in the mine, which seems a little backwards. But Dudley goes to confront him. Why do you have shotguns? I was hunting for vampires. Vampires? I'm afraid so. So the casting honestly seems pretty spot on. Everyone seems to match their roles and clearly puts their all into it. But often the timing seems really odd. Really are vampires around here? Sadly. Oh, I thought you might. Um, so long. Ciao. That was a fine rehearsal, but could we try one with jokes? The plan is a little confusing, but Snidely literally railroads the bank president into signing over all the mortgages to him. 
I have the mortgage now, or this quaint little fixer upper is mine. I don't get this guy. He has gold and a bank president who will sign anything. Shouldn't he have all he wants by now? <laughs> he takes over the town, making everyone's life a living hell, but Dudley seems to still be on that unfunny vampire joke to move forward. No, really. They reuse <laughs> this joke a lot. I thought that this was yeah. vampires. <laughs> And they run away. Oh, I am a vampire. <sighs> lost boys mentioned vampires less than this. <laughs> it's me, Dudley. It's Nell Fenwick. He's presented by Nell, played now by Sarah Jessica Parker. Another problem is while a lot of the actors do a good job channeling their cartoon characters' voices and personalities, Frasier just plays Dudley like a slightly more coherent George. Listen to them all back mm. and back. Don't keep looking out the window in the direction of the sawmill. It can't help. I went out and saw the world just like I planned. Oh, and then I oh. served as U.S. ambassador to Guam. What's keeping that old do right? He should have been here long ago. How can I do this to you, man? And I was born to do it. Now get out and take your munchkins with you. That's right, sir. Square shooting, Dudley do right at your service. Square and true, eyes of blue. Oh, I got you. You want one of those fuzzy plaid blankets that they sell down at the Mountie store? You trust huh. me with that? It really doesn't sound like Dudley, does it? No. Okay, he doesn't have to do this voice the whole time or anything. But yeah. It feel like the same type of bumbling doofus from the source. It would have gotten <laughs> annoying <laughs> quickly. Is something burning? Oh yeah, right. Like you think I'm stupid enough to fall for that old trick? People give him credit for wearing a bat suit, but I give him much more credit for wearing a hat that's on fire. Now if he did both, he'd win two Oscars. Now, he did that stunt. Singing a love song they both remember. When I'm calling you. Thank you, Doug. Sarah Jessica Park is like, we got ten more minutes of this, don't we? <laughs> they mix it up with other excuses to play the best of Michael Winslow. <laughs> I've, se sound effects kept I've seen that joke. Oh, jeez, an ad. I've seen that joke before with, like, a moose, like landing on a on a head but very quickly like um that opening short film before the movie started when i watched that film when i watched dudley do right for the first time you, you know as i explained um i had i did not expect the short film you know with the fox and i was confused i was like wait a minute is this part of the movie but then i then realized and uh, you know i i checked on imdb oh okay this is a short film all right but that's kind of weird like 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 shouldn't they be like separated and you could watch the short film on its own like y you get my point that that's just that's just weird uh. okay and uh one more ad playing but I thought I'd get that out, so. Enhance your slapstick, but not when you solely rely on them. All right. Well, why did do that? Like. Make way to a Canadian corn festival, and boy, oh boy, does this look like what it's can you do? Age well. Black tribe of South Brooklyn Indians, the Canarsie Kumquat. Me do well. Good for you, sugar. Well, come on, let's go see the show. Okay, okay, I see what you're trying to do. Trying to confuse me if this is funny or racist. I'll settle for both. <laughs> to have naming credits. <laughs> I wasn't this uncomfortable since I made the Sex in the City sequel. <laughs> and don't worry, everybody. Really? Vampire jokes. Nightly Whiplash is hunting vampires with gold bullets, which scares the heck out of me. Vampires are gold bullets. Vampires. Did vampires fund this movie? Even Anne Rice would be like, dude, there's other monsters, you know. Mm -hmm. Smiley, he approaches a prospector who found gold, played by maybe the oddest casting choice for a prospector who found gold, Eric Idle. You will be on network television. What television? No, I have it. To make things weirder, guess who handles a solid minute of exposition? Dudley, Nell, Snidely, Regis, Kathy Lee, yeah, the last two. He found all this gold. Yeah, Regis and Kathy's cameos. Mistaking no claim. Whoever finds the gold gets the big gold rushes on for Canada. Is this still a Dudley Do Right movie? I don't know why, but I laugh really hard at how randomly excited Idol is to see Ben Miller. Ben 
Midler is next. Mm. So far, the funniest parts of the movie are characters getting excited for things they probably shouldn't get excited about. Since the past two presidential elections have Americans that you know Canada's looking pretty nice as people rush to Snidely's town to search for gold. This won't return as well after they realize they've been tricked by him and he stole their cut of the gold. He gives them all jobs in this flourishing town, realizing that the people going after the gold are not usually Canadian. Canadians like to think things over before they do something. Americans just jump in. Like rewriting a Dudley Do-Right picture. Perfect example. <laughs> Where's Dudley in all this, you may ask? He was fast asleep dreaming about horse. Well, that opens the stable door for a pretty easy joke. Except the movie makes it for me. <laughs> yeah, because his horse disappeared throughout the, the entirety of this film. So is this like Brokeback Mountain to him? <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, I don't think we could do that even in a rated R movie. <laughs> Snidely makes a fortune on the gold rush, which again is a little weird. According to before, he was already rich. But rich and mm. is the only line in a way that actually kind of sounds like Dudley do right. There's something going on in Semi Happy Valley that I don't approve of. That sounded like Dudley to me. Mm hmm. Again, it's not the goofy voice, but the attitude of naive authority was there. I don't know. Maybe it sounds like that because it's the only line that doesn't involve vampires or tripping. On that note, this world is so odd, mm. it's pretty hard not to laugh at. You remember Nell Fenwick? Why, no. why couldn't he do that for the, for, throughout the rest no, of the film? Was there a running joke I missed? <laughs> strange thing to say. He kisses her, yet he yells at Nell. Were there moments where she was making out with Adam Sandler's dances with wolves here, too? Oh, it's just Nick. Nah. I also do legit love the subtlety that he's using a golf cart to play miniature golf. This movie's bad, but it does have its moments. Well, that is an amazing yeah. story you're telling. Dudley goes to Ottawa to tell Snidely's nasty deeds, but it doesn't seem to go well. Millions of American dollars pouring into an otherwise impoverished section. He's the bad guy. Just look at the way he dressed. Uh, did the Italian dressed as a Native American honestly just say, look at how he dresses? It's obvious what he is. <laughs> Deaf ears as Nell's father, Inspector Fenwick, enters the picture, played by Robert Prosky. Again, in casting, that's honestly yeah. pretty dead on. Now, give me your uniform and your sidearm and leave. My uniform, sir? Oh, I'm sorry, Dudley. Don't worry, you'll find something else. It will take a vet. Mr. Cleveland, uh, Eraser. Oh my gosh, another ad. And these ads should be playing when the screen goes black. Why is it doing the. Why is it doing that all of a sudden? Like, I don't get it. Documentary. Years ago, dinosaurs ruled the earth. And, 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 and this is a sponsor, but, but, right? But dinosaurs could have been... But when yeah, that's what it is. Person who doesn't get started, yeah, but I almost didn't realize that Robert Prowski, the late Robert Prowski, was in this film. And did, did Doug say that he's playing Dudley's father, I think? Yeah, I think so. Doesn't it... Doug plays Jim. Okay. Life as a normal citizen as Snidely tries to win over Nell and her father at his restaurant. Again, little touches like this fancy drawing. Wait a minute. Don't get a laugh out of me. It's like the logo I had years ago, and it hasn't changed at all. Getting old sucks, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> down the gold. So they He's not wrong. He finds out Snidely is putting more gold in the mountains for them to find, which, for a guy known for tying people to railroad tracks, doesn't seem that bad. Hell, I'd be more angry at Nell for turning faster on Dudley than the writers did. Yeah, I'm starting to think this film should have been called Snidely Whiplash. <laughs> wow, this dance sequence is almost good. <laughs> it's like every time it starts to get impressive, they're like, oh, wait, is a full winkle cartoon really worth it? <laughs> doesn't win Nell over via dance-off. You know what just hit me? Did we even see them break up? As the prospector tries to get Dudley back on track because we paid for Eric Idle, might as well get the most out of him. Now I will throw some stones at you, and you will not flinch as they whiz past your head. I wonder where this is going. <coughs> yeah, can we just cut to the crotch shot? <gasps> I wasn't even serious about that, but why should I be with a film that opens with a farting horse? <laughs> After he finishes his training, mm. I will say, I didn't see this edit coming. <laughs> but it turns out the saw was just paper mache. Just paper mache. And he gets the info he's looking for. Yeah. Now a much harder case. 
But still, like, would that be right for Dudley's character? Okay, so I can't pretend this is clever writing, but something about seeing Dudley do right with a machine gun, I'm just saying that sentence out loud does get a smile on my face. Prospector reveals he has family to go home to, and that training Dudley gave him the courage to go home and face his past. I thought this guy was going to have a two-minute cameo. When did he become the most complex <laughs> character in the movie? I was lost like you. No one ever really believed in me, but... That gives me the strength to reach all my loved ones. I can find them. There are so many questions I have for this guy. Can the rest of the movie just be a Q&A with him? <laughs> Dudley crashes in on Snidely and Elle as they try to figure out who is the bad boy she'd rather go for. I do give credit this movie's not even trying with the little story it had before, and it's more satirizing what they're supposed to be doing in stories like this rather than why. I do have to tip my hat. It is just going all out for the jokes. Yep. I guess you could say that makes me shallow, but unless you're Eric Idle, I think that's everybody's MO. Also, again, I just couldn't predict this would be the next edit. He's a cunning adversary, mm -hmm. though, rather not cunning enough. Mud bath. Okay, this is a bad movie, but I am laughing much more than other bad movies I review on here. Yeah. Also, am I crazy, or does he drop the F bomb here? We'll see if the shoe fits. What shoe, Will? You can't say that on YouTube. Only R-rated movies and PG-13 <laughs> movies and, yes, even PG movies. God, things make no sense. <laughs> yeah, he's not wrong. He's, not, well, he's man, not wrong. They really thought they were going to go far milking these characters, didn't they? And I don't think he, uh, Snidley like said enough on the show. You can't even blame the 60s for this. <laughs> so he puts also, there was the no show, ad. Surprisingly, it doesn't make anything less uncomfortable. But it does win Nell over. I thought he already did. I love yeah. You really do know? Kiss me, you bird, Liberace in a diaper. Snidely launches an assault on Dudley, but they shoot their fireworks <clears> at them, <throat> which looks about as good as they did earlier. <laughs> That's the last set of fireworks. The fireworks don't work, so I don't know why they wrote that in. And they drive everyone away. Not since their all male revival of Little Women had the Kumquats faced such a hostile reception. Yeah, that would seem in bad taste for them. <laughs> His horse returns to show him the way, and I do kind of give credit. They do call out their own bullshit. That's it, I'm finished. I thought Native North Americans could run all day. Oh, yeah, like we're really Indians. Just because you say it doesn't make it right. <laughs> did I say the burning hat was the most impressive thing Frazier did in this? <laughs> that actually looks like a really difficult thing to pull off. I mean, I know like 90% of it's the horse, but I couldn't do that 10%. No. Cavalry arrives. Oh yeah, I actually kind of forgot there's a Canadian Mountie in this. And if you told me two tanks blew up at the end of the Dudley Do Right movie, I definitely say someone at least thought a little bit outside the box. Oh, and where'd the cavalry come from? Well, it turns out the prospector's wife was just sworn in as the Prime Minister of Canada and sent them in for the rescue. Okay. Boy, I'll say. Christ, I want to know this guy's story. Yeah. Hooks up with Mel in their new how, home, but not with new how quick did he get married? <laughs> Once again, with that. see that sideshow Bob episode of Simpsons and say, Well, we got our everything. <laughs> and of course, we have to hand on what this movie was really all about horse shit. <sighs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Hilarious. The horse does the right raspberry. Down, but honestly, I thought it'd be worse. Mm. This movie has plenty about it that doesn't work, mainly in the joke department. A lot of the humor is either written well but is delivered poorly, or is written poorly and delivered poorly. Yeah. Every once in a while, though, there is a pretty good bit, and the energy and enthusiasm of the well-picked cast does come across. I agree. The issue seems to be around Dudley himself. It's not only written in a boring way, but also acted in a boring way. True. But I don't know how much of that is Frazier's fault. We've seen him funny plenty yeah. of times. I think this was just a misreading of what the character was about and what's supposed to be funny about it. The creativity and randomness of other jokes from other characters is appreciated, though. I mean, like I said, I kind of think this should have been more of a Snidely Whiplash movie, honestly. But that's not what it is. It's a Dudley Do-Right movie, very clearly doing wrong. But for so many wrong moves, I do at least want to acknowledge there were more than a few moments legit done right. Take yep. that for what it's worth. Yeah. I'm the nostalgic critic. I remember it, so you don't have. He was 
fast asleep dreaming about horse. Hmm. Reuniting with horse. It's cystic fiber. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. Like, you know, um, Doug Walker, a.k.a. the Nostalgia Critic, giving his, you know, honest thoughts on this film. And yeah, I, I agree with what he says on the Dudley Do-Right film. But enough said. Jump cut to my thoughts now. Hey guys, so that was my reaction to the Nostalgia Critic's review of the Dudley Do-Right movie. Yes, so yeah, um, like I said, you know, I agree with what Doug, aka the critic, had to say about this film, you know, because some of the funny moments, you know, th they are funny, and, you know, he found them funny, just like me, um, and, um, stuff that clearly does not work in this film, yeah, because definitely it does show, um, like, you know, the fart jokes like, with the horse, yeah, I mean, a, a fart joke, like, it, it needs to work, uh, you know, sometimes it, it can work, sometimes it, it, it can't, you know, um, and, um, you know, with the character of Dudley Do-Right himself, you know, and, I mean, no, I mean, I, I don't think it was Brendan Fraser's fault, I mean, you know, because things that Dudley was doing, I mean, you know, and as I, as I said at the beginning of this reaction video, you know, uh, Brendan complaining, about the character of Dudley in this film, like, you know, things that Dudley, you know, would, would not do, um, and, like, would be out of his character, stuff like that, um, and, um, you know, and, and the voice, like, as Doug pointed out, like, I didn't realize that, you know, the voice that Dudley had in the cartoon, you know, Brendan did, did not do it in this movie, but there are a, a couple of times that he did, and, you know, if if only he could have, and as long as, you know, like, for the audience, they wouldn't be going like, oh my gosh, that voice is so annoying. If it was done right, y you get my point. And by the way, because even, you know, Doug pointed out because, uh, yeah, Nell, you know, J Sarah Jessica Parker's character, like, I don't know, because, like, it's a bit confusing, because, like, were Dudley and Nell ever a couple at the beginning of this film, you know, when they were adults? I don't know, because it's like, you know, she's she's with uh, Snidley sometimes, and, you know, Snidley, like, kissing her and stuff like that. Like, what is with her? Like, I don't know, because, like, is she, is she that dumb? I don't know. I don't know. You get my point. It's, it, it is confusing, so, you know... Um, and, um, you know, Eric Idle's character, the prospector, yeah, because what, what the Nostalgia Critic was saying about him, like, you know, like, we should have known so much more about this character, and, yeah, I mean, it, golly, because, <laughs> like, giving some emotional, like, speeches, and how, you know, he has to, at one point, leave to find his family, and even say at at the end of the movie he's married to you know uh, I, for, I forget what's what's her face and it's like when did he get married to her like and how quick did he get married that's the thing <laughs> um, and uh, yeah you know overall I thought this film was okay you know and as I said like you know it's clearly not the best movie adaptation of a Jay Ward cartoon. It definitely shows, um, like I said, like, it seems like George of the Jungle, the first one, of course, you know, seems to be the only one that is close to being pretty decent and funny, and yeah, uh, you know, from what I've heard, a lot of people, uh, like, have really enjoyed the first George of the Jungle film, but as for this and the other two, Rocky and Bullwinkle, George of the, the Jungle 2... Not so much. <laughs> oh, and by the way, because, you know, I, I meant to bring this up because about Dudley Do-Right, you know, I was vaguely familiar with Dudley Do-Right. Um, you know, not to mention because, you know, at the Universal Studios parks, um, you know, uh, there's uh, the, like, 
log flume attraction, you know, just like, say, Splash Mountain, but it's all themed to Dudley Do-Right. Yeah, pretty cool attraction and how, you know, definitely you get wet on that. So, you know, thought I'd point that out. Um, but yeah. And, and you know, because and, and, uh, another thing, you know, uh, uh, Doug pointing out because... Uh, from Alfred Molina and Sarah Jessica Parker, they do a pretty good job, like, doing their impressions of the characters, you know, and, like, the performance and the accents, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, they did pretty good. But as for Dudley being played by Brendan, not so much, you know, that's a shame. <sighs> but anyways... Um, but what about you guys? I mean, you know, what do you think of the film itself? And what did you think of the Nostalgia Critics review of the film? And what did you think of my reaction? Leave comments and give this reaction video a like, as always. So, with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to the Nostalgia Critics review of the Dudley Do-Right film, more reaction videos coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash reaction. Take care, and peace out.